ahead of Southport on Saturday, when you've had a chance to sort of look back at, at Kings Lynn, obviously, and analyse it and everything, how has the response been from the boys to that this week? Yeah, very positive. We are um, disappointed to to lose, um, but you know, one of the, the best teams in the league and the league position reflects that. Um, we ultimately know when we don't hit the levels um, we're capable of, then we've got every chance of getting beat, and that was the first 45 minutes, really. Um, obviously, at half-time, it wasn't good enough, and the lads um, got around each other, and we come up and come out second half, and we had the response, and we were far better second half, um, and unlucky not to get something out of the game. But like I say, the unbeaten uh, run has come to an end, but it's all about the next game and making sure um, we prepare and we're mentally right for it. And how important do you feel it is that you don't, I suppose, dwell on that result for too long, that you just can look back at even the second half of that game and the performances before it, take the positives from those and just move on to what's lying ahead? Very important. I mean, I think it was... Ten minutes after after the final whistle on Saturday, we were reflected and we knew exactly we can't start like we did. Um, took us too long to get out of the blocks. Um, we got pushed around. We didn't pick up enough second balls. And then when we did win the ball back, we weren't good enough. And the lads know that. You know, they didn't need anyone to tell them that. So, but we come out second half and we had that response. So, we're going into the next game, making sure it's good energy around the place. Lads are buzzing. We've got strong competition for places now, which is uh, it's a good headache to have. So we're looking forward to it. How achievable do you feel three points is coming up at Southport on Saturday ahead of another big game at Alfreton on uh, Tuesday coming? I think uh, we're looking to, to get three points on Saturday first and foremost. I think obviously next game, strategy, we're not looking too far ahead. Um, anything can happen in football. So yeah, we're making sure that we just do everything we can to make sure we're, we're ready. Um, we know it's going to be a tough game. Um, we know what to expect. So yeah, mine's on Saturday. It's been quite a long time since your last face Southport at the stadium back on the opening day, a goalless draw in the end. They were in the playoffs for quite a while. They've hit a little bit of a, a rough run of form recently, but how tough a game are you expecting from them? Yeah, extremely tough. Um, they're a, a very big physical team um, and they play to their strengths, which you know every team does. So we know what to expect. We've got to compete physically. We've got to match and we've got to pick up second balls. Um, and then we need to be have good quality when we can, but ultimately it's going to be tough conditions. The pitch um, it'll be difficult to play good football. So yeah, it's, it's making sure that we cope with the elements, and then when we can get the ball down, we play play good football. And then just finally, how are all the lads looking in terms of fitness and everything at the minute? Obviously, Brad pulled out after the warm up on Saturday and was replaced by Sam Guthrie in the end. Yeah, we he's. Uh, He's coming along, um, it's going to be touch and go on Brad. Um, so yeah, we've got our fingers crossed, he's been fantastic for us. Um, but Guff come in and I thought he was fantastic, did everything he needed to do, his kicking was good. So like I say, we've, we've got a good number two there if, uh, if Brad's not, not right. But yeah, no, no new injury um, concerns other than and Brad, everyone's coming along nicely.